Hello everyone, welcome back. Praise God, we are together once again. I hope you all are doing well and blessed in the Lord. I truly do. Uh, blessings to all, uh, you and your family, in these glorious days, because now these are the days after He has risen. Praise God, He has risen. He is no longer on the cross. He is in heaven with our Father sitting at the right hand. Praise God. Um, I hope you all had a beautiful Resurrection Day. Um, we just kind of took it easy and and worshipped a little bit and, and um, you know, just sort of glorified God and because and, He's victorious. We, Jesus was victorious over the cross, over damnation, uh, over our sins. He is risen. It's beautiful. Amen. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I was going to bring you this message. Um, well, I should say every time I was starting this video, I knew I needed to wait. And that was like Friday. Um, uh, sorry. I think that's like Friday the 20th and then Saturday the, oh no. Uh, I'm getting my dates wrong. 19, and then Saturday the 20th, I was like, okay, I'll I'll do this video today, and because I have another one, and I need I know I need to do this one first before I um, give you a confirmation on a vision that I received, but I know this one needs to come first. So I said, okay, Saturday, and no, no, the Lord didn't really give me that feeling. It's a feeling. In the you know the Holy Ghost just kind of says yes okay share this and I didn't get that so then sat Sunday the twenty first I'm like okay I'll, I'll do this video and I, I just felt like nope today's Jesus's day give him today praise him today I said okay I'm gonna praise him today and I'll, I'll do the video Monday so today is Monday the twenty second uh, sorry for the long intro um, let's get to it okay. So, um, the, let's see, how can I put this? The feeling I'm getting about this message is if you are on your path, you have a relationship with Jesus. You are walking with him to your salvation. Then this message is more um, for you as like a study and also to minister, take this message and minister to, um, I, I get hung up with labels, lukewarm, um, the people who are questioning their faith, uh, they question if God tr truly was born in this human form, Jesus to his mother, Mary, you know, the ones who, they might go to church and you see them singing the hymns or uh, tithing, or you see them and um, you say to them, have a blessed day. And they're like, thank you, you too. You know, you might, but there's still a little, little doubt. This message is for them. And I'm not trying to put anybody on blast. That's rude. But <laughs> what this is, is, God is, he wants, he will, he will hold the flock to get the stray sheep. Praise God. I know this is biblical and I can all fight it. Um, but this is what the, the Holy Ghost is, is pouring into me right this moment. I can feel it. My cheeks are flushed. Um, he doesn't want anyone to get lost. He doesn't want any stray sheep you know, lost. He wants all of us. And so he's going to do his best by using, like me, I say I'm a, I'm a clear glass. I'm a, I'm a vessel for the Lord to pour into, to use, um, to help as many on their walk to salvation. Praise God. So I, I want to be a blessing to as many as I can. And actually that was one of my prayers yesterday is to be a blessing to as many. So if you can hear my voice and you have a little bit of doubt, 
or you have questions, or you heard someone say something and it didn't ring true, or or you're not a hundred percent sure. Um, let I pray that this message is a blessing to you and for everyone who can hear my voice. Pray over this. Take it to the Lord, and really. Um, these are the times we need to make a choice hot or cold cannot be lukewarm cannot he, he will spew us out Jesus said I will spew you out of my mouth so we need to be hot for God we need to be hot for his word praise God okay <laughs> I don't want this to be long so I'm gonna get right to it ah. Okay, so I know I did the video on um, unattended sin, uh, and I hope that was a blessing to you all. He just wants us to shed everything, because it does affect, it has a ripple effect. Um, so even something we don't think, in that, in that video I talked about um, a video, or a sticker on someone's car that said, um, Something like little white lies or tell tell little white lies. And it doesn't care what it doesn't matter what the color of the lie is. Lies a lies a lies a sin. Well, this is the other sticker. There's two. There's that one and there's this one. It says sin a little. Mercy. We need to pray for this person who's um, driving around with this sticker on his car. And anyone else? Anyone else? Let's just make a blanket prayer let's in agreement pray for these people who are driving around with this lie with this sin on the back of their car because what there is not so much sin little it's like giving permission to sin it's saying it's an attitude like I'm on the straight and narrow I'm on the straight and narrow and then they see this sticker on someone's car and they go oh oh well I'm always on the straight and narrow maybe I can sin a little and, and it won't matter of course it matters it matters in the sense of it's the choices we make when we choose God so that's what I'm saying um, I'm cutting off my own self I just want to get to it I want to get to the, the crux of it so everyone who's on your path god bless you god bless you trust in god imagine shackles around your ankles those are sins of all nature small white gray blue big little whatever and then you step off you step out of those shackles you kick them off you demand those shackles to fall off of you that is you repenting. That is you turning away from any worldly things that are going to hold you here. That you don't, we don't want to. We this is not our home. Our home is, is with heaven, with God, our Father God, Almighty, the Highest, Yeshua. Oh, so we don't want anything that's going to keep us separated. That's why we have the tether. That's why we have Jesus. Yesterday, that's why I, another reason it wasn't appropriate for me to do this video yesterday. Because yesterday was the victorious rising of Jesus. Because he overcame sin. He took on our sin. He went to hell and he overcame it. Kicked down the the gates of hell took the keys with him and rose whole and went home to Father God. He is no longer on the cross. So when we sin a little, it's like, why did Jesus go bother? Why did he go through it? Now we can repent. We can constantly repent. I, I actually say repent daily because things happen. We're human. We're human. Faulted. You know, we're, we're not perfect. Only perfect one was Jesus. 
So we need to constantly repent. We need to, to even just say, Thank you, Lord, for what you did. Please forgive me. And rebuke the devil. Call him a liar right to his face. Tell him you have no rights to me. You are under my feet. Have these thoughts in your mind. So the ones who are a little... That question or doubt. Um, this is for you. Uh, God loves you. God loves you. He loves you with the greatest love. And he sent his son. To take your sin. Those little sins, they add up. And one is too many. Because Jesus took them all. Now, I'm not talking about, um, you know, I know people um, get upset. I, I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, if you find yourself in a situation, the lady, the cashier gave you a dollar too much. You, you're like, wow, she gave me a dollar too much. Give that dollar back. It's not your dollar. It's not her dollar. It's the store's dollar. It's not yours. You have no rights to it. Um, sometimes people frustrate us. We just have to either forgive them quietly, forgive them v verbally, and then thank God for His mercies and grace. And repent those thoughts that you had. Just, all I'm saying is, the love of God is with us. The, the, the power and the strength of what Jesus did for us is the way we will get to heaven. And so this little sign, that's, or this sign that says sin a little, it's going to distract us from our path. And we don't need any distractions. We don't need any shackles holding us back. And the devil is going to try to put speed bumps on our road, on our path. We just have to remember he is under our feet. We can step over those speed bumps. We don't have to get hung up on those speed bumps. We can pray. We can thank God for his mercies. Okay. This, that was basically that was basically it but I wanted to share once I saw this sticker and I have to tell you I had to repent too because I saw this guy and I was like whoop there he is and I went around the parking lot and and like circled he probably was like who is this lady following me but I wanted to get the picture and I and the Lord allowed it made it um, possible and I took a quick snapshot so I repented that I, I hope I didn't make him uncomfortable and that funny um, <laughs> I just and so like I said I pray for this person who has this sticker on their car because to be I don't know and I don't know their walk but I think it's a deception I think they're deceiving people and I pray that they scratch this off like I said I haven't seen that other one so maybe our prayers that he scratched off little white lies off his car tell little white lies awful and then send a little let's let's do a blanket prayer that he removes this now I also have seen beautiful stickers of course that say blessings and blessed we're blessed I saw that just this morning uh, I was on the highway and I didn't want to take a picture it's dangerous but I did see we are we are blessed with a crown it was beautiful so those are out there too, blessing people. And I pray that people are blessed. I've seen people with blessed t-shirts on. Um, let's, let's, let's have that message out there. Sharing the blessings of the Lord. Okay, I'm getting too long. I love you all. And God loves you so much more, so much more, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And quickly, Matthew 24, 30. Oh, um, sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, this is uh, the ESV, but I'll do it in um, King James ver Version as well. But this is this is the clear, you know, it's in layman terms. So I'll do um, 
King James after. Then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming in on clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Matthew 24:30, King James Version. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Amen. That day will happen. And I pray that we all on our path with Jesus, walking towards our salvation, having a relationship, having shed our worldly ways, repented for any sin, because Jesus took away all of our sins. It's done. It was finished on the cross, and he has risen. Praise God. It is done. So, if anyone has any doubts or questions, I pray that you come to comments and fellowship with us. Um, because God wants us all with him. He loves us all, everyone. And he wants us all to be reunited with him in heaven when his son calls us with a shout into the air after the dead have risen. Praise God. All glory be to God. Please take this up to the Lord and pray over it. And I pray that it is a blessing to you or it can be a blessing to someone who ha doesn't have a relationship yet or they have doubts or questions. Just give it all up to the Lord. He can take it. He loves us. He loves you. And He knows all. He knows you. He knew you before you even came out of the womb. He held you. Before any, before He, before you were before. Before, before, before. He's patient and kind, and His love is everlasting. Believe on Him. Trust on Him. Lean on Him. He is a solid rock of salvation. Glory. Hallelujah. Okay. Please take care. And may God bless and keep you all. Bye for now. We'll talk soon. Take care. And may God bless and keep you.